got it lined up. We have locating the top and the X, Y, zero. We'll run the part. And after I run the part, I'm gonna check a few uh, features. So we'll do workpiece inspection. I'm gonna do rectangular outside. Select my lines. And I'm just going height and width, setting the top plane. And I already have these saved in here. So now I'm probing the rectangular portion of the profile. Now, if I wanted to save this, I could go and say, let's do actual height. I'll save that as a macro variable value. 1000 we'll do the height I'm sorry said the width on the for the height and we'll save those out and if I wanted to I could re refer to those to make sure everything's looking good or I can deprint that out if I wanted to lots of different options to do with that <clears throat> next up I'm going to do the inside so we'll do another workpiece inspection we'll do rectangular inside same tool Right click, select in the lines. So I'll go with in the height. And you tell it we're going to go a quarter inch deep. Add some clearance. Again, I could save those results if I wanted to. So we got the inside outside probe. All right. Next, I want to probe. The little diameters on the outside. I'm going to do another workpiece inspection and we're going to do diameter outside three points. Same tool. I need to select my arc and I can go and select more arcs as I want and do it all in one tool path. So let's look at the first arc. I'm going to give it a measuring height, minus quarter inch, clearance quarter. Awesome. So we get a nice little preview. And if I wanted to, I can change my first angle. I'm just rotating my mouse wheel so I can change the angle of where it's actually probing at. Or you can just type and it will change. So some cool features. Now, I would have to go and re-input the values for all these. So let's look at this guy first. I'm gonna save these. So save, I don't need, don't need the height, distance, clearance. Turn everything else off. I'm gonna delete these guys and we'll go add the other arcs and now that I saved everything it's coming in a lot quicker awesome I'm not gonna mess with the angles on these other three diameters. Pretty good, pretty confident they're gonna be all right. A little green check, we have our probing toolpath. If we wanted to, we can hop on in to verify. Expand that out. And I'm going to slow it down for a little bit. And we can see all the motion. I didn't slow it down quite enough, but we're going to be able to verify that probe and make sure everything looks good. So, nice feature about that. And I don't have to do any guesswork with by hand editing.